Welcome back, everybody, to this book review by Dr. Donna Lee Snipes. Today, we're going to be talking about DBT Made Simple by Sherry Van Dyke. This is a great book for introducing the basics of dialectical behavior therapy. You are not going to be a dialectical behavior therapist by reading this one book, but it is a wonderful introduction and overview and provides a lot of tools to get you started or to help people manage their emotions a little bit better. Uh, you won't be, again, a DBT therapist, but the tools can be used independently or outside of the full scale DBT intervention. You can save 25% on this book and your entire order by using promo code 1168 SNIPES or 1168 S N I P E S at newharbinger.com. In this book, you learn about the basics of dialectical behavior therapy and the assumptions of dialectical behavior therapy. Some of the assumptions of dialectical behavior therapy are very key to motivating recovery. For example, clients didn't create their own problems necessarily, but they do have to fix them. You know, yes, we do create some of our own problems, but some of them were created because of an unhealthy environment or being survivors of crime or something else. We didn't ask for those. However, they happened, and that situation is not going to fix itself. Therefore, the person who experienced those things, it's incumbent upon them to fix those issues, even if they didn't create the problem. The next section that I really love in this book is talk, talks about reducing burnout with high need clients through setting and observing limits. When we are using dialectical behavior therapy, we are often working with people who are really struggling with emotion regulation and you know it started out obviously when linehan created it it was initially created to use with people with borderline personality disorder it's extremely useful with people with addictions and other issues as well but a lot of times clients who have a lot of emotional dysregulation tend to be very energy intensive for the therapist so she talks a lot about how to reduce burnout with these high need clients so you can really implement and and be successful reducing burnout with these clients is enhanced if you go the next step and actually learn the entire dbt philosophy, if you will, um, including the consultation groups and the coaching and the individual sessions. Consultation groups are so important for reducing burnout and helping people maintain their boundaries and limits. But I digress. The next section, she talks about the biopsychosocial model of borderline personality disorder and other issues. Our issues, mental health, addiction, whatever, are generally not caused by just one thing. It's not just our biology. It's not just our mental health. It's not just our social environment. It's how all three of those meld together and are either affirming or not affirming of who we are. Behavioral theory basics is the next chapter she goes into and you know behaviorism can get really tedious at times with these different definitions and this that and the other thing she does a great job of breaking it down to the bare necessities rewards punishments chaining some things like that so you're not getting too caught up in different schedules of reinforcement and all that kind of stuff i got my minor in behavior modification so I love behavior theory, and I think she does a great job of hitting the highlights with enough depth to provide clinicians the tools they need to help people effectively start changing their behavior. She moves on to strategies for individual sessions, including dialectical strategies, how to, help how to help people embrace the good and the bad. It's raining outside. Okay. Well, the bad part about that is, you know, it looks kind of gross. The good part about that is it's raising the water table, it's washing your car, it's watering your garden, whatever it is. Dialectical strategies mean walking the middle path, accepting that 
with everything there's good and bad and embracing that once you accept things as they are with their good and their bad aspects then you move on to mindfulness and becoming and overcoming hurdles to being mindful when you're mindful you become more aware of things the more aware you are the more you have to accept life as it is and use those dialectical strategies so she prevents presents the dialectical strategies first to give people the tools to deal with what they become aware of when they start practicing mindfulness and she talks about a lot of different ways to start incorporating mindfulness into daily life one of the tools that i use is what i call it mealtime mindfulness in order to help people remember when to do it but right before each meal doing a mindfulness scan to see how they feel what they're thinking what they need at that particular moment she moves on to talking about emotional reactivity or emotional dysregulation and how to regulate it using distress tolerance skills and investigating what may have triggered that emotional dysregulation through chaining and backward chaining going backwards and going okay so i'm upset right now what triggered this outburst or upsetness all right why is it that i was sensitive to that particular trigger now when sometimes i'm not and it encourages people to go backwards and look and see how stress can build up if we don't deal with it and it's important to be aware of when we're having a day that we're feeling vulnerable for example we got up late we're sick we didn't sleep well all of those things can be links in a chain that may lead up to being more emotionally reactive and finally she ends with a short chapter on improving interpersonal skills and assertiveness now if you're familiar with dialectical behavior therapy there's a lot more to dbt with problem solving and interpersonal skills distress tolerance vulnerability prevention a lot of that stuff so this is only a introductory course into dbt but it's enough that you can read it you can learn some techniques that are super helpful with just about any client and then you can decide from there whether it's a good fit for you as a clinician my favorite parts of this book like most of the ones that i will review there's a fair number of worksheets that cl clinicians can give clients to use there are very practical suggestions for addressing emotional re reactivity for preventing vulnerabilities and improving interpersonal skills and it's a great primer before launching into full-fledged dialectical behavior therapy with the coaching and consultation groups just like the act made simple that i discussed in a prior review the dbt made simple book is really geared more toward helping clinicians develop skills and tools to use in session and with clients as opposed to being a book that's super helpful for bibliotherapy but that's okay you know we all are looking for tools that can help us be more effective as clinicians and provide our clients more options for addressing their presenting issues dbt made simple by sherry van dyke love the book you can get it at newharbinger.com and save 25 percent using promo code 1168 snipes <laughs>